happen next to nothing? That was stupid. No one loves you. You know what? This is not about hormones. I have proof. Seaside, don't you? The seaside, the seaside. Look, I don't want to put the dampness on anything, right? But we're not exactly flush at Alex, the moment. Alex, please don't start. I've just got to get out this house. I mean, there's no ulterior motive, right? I mean, you tell me if there was. And how is there? Yes, I tell you. Well, I mean, I'm not saying it's not a nice idea. Good. Sorted then. Della, darling, come on, we're going to be late. I'm not going. Now, don't you start, young lady. Alex, would you just tell her? Oh, come on, darling. It'd be boring if you don't come. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad, but I'm 16. You can't just treat me like a kid when it suits you. Look, if Kate Ellis is allowed a flat for her 16th birthday, I can stay here for one weekend. But that's completely different. And you know what? I'm your mother, and you are coming to the seaside with us. Morning, all. Permission to come aboard? Oh, not now, Dad, please. You know, we're in a bit of a hurry. Oh, I only wanted to see how you were. Oh, going somewhere nice. Yes, Mum and Dad are going to the seaside with the twins. Sea air. Probably just what the doctor ordered. Really? We're in a hurry. We've got to go. Now, you, young lady, get a move on. I'm not going. Well, you are not staying here. Look, I'll tell you what. Well, if you're not going to come, why not let your granddad look after you? It wouldn't be a problem, would it? It'd be a treat. <laughs> Fine. I've uh, got to get ready for the uh, your wife's fundraising event. Oh yes, right. I, I wondered, um, could you possibly give her this? Distant hope <laughs> came in first, hundred to one. Well, you know, it's all in a good cause. Of course, I'll pass it on. When you were crying just now, was. What's that to do with Johnny? Natalie's probably. Well, I know it's the anniversary, and uh, I just wonder whether that had something to do with it. It's. It's got something to do with that, yeah. It is a fundraising event, and uh, we were hoping that a generous lady such as yourself would uh, want to come along and, uh, and give your support. It is true. I'm widely known for my philanthropic urges. Well, that's the nice thing about our professions, isn't it? We can, uh, we can feel that we're making a difference. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Oh. Don't you think, Samuel? Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Of course, I hope uh, you three aren't thinking of missing out on all the fun. Well, uh, yeah, um, later maybe. Well, you get, because uh, there's some very excited nurses, very ex excited about meeting our local football legend. <laughs> Thank you. We will give it due consideration. Oh, Nancy, Sam. <laughs> Don't know about you, mate, but I'm gonna think I'm going to have to get down the surgery. I think I might be a bit sick. Yeah, I think you might be. Right, I'm ready. Who else is coming to nap this little shindy? Help raise a few, Bob. Oh, sorry, Granddad, but I'd rather go home. I know Mum wanted me to stay here, but I'm not being rude. I know, I know. It's Roxanne being your old baby baby, is she? I guess. It's just, you know, before the baby, I want to take some time out for myself, just for me. Don't worry, we'll cover for you. Go on, off you go. Go on, change my mind. Thanks, Dad. So, why do you think they chose to have the salmon cut into heart shapes? Because salmon are romantic fish, the way they swim back to where they come from. Do you think that fish kiss? 
I can't kiss you now, Tom. I need time. You kissed me before and didn't need time then. <sighs> then nothing happened for ages afterwards. What makes this time so different? Uh, because we were kids then. Anyway, this is different. This is a second kiss. Oh? Okay, when you kiss someone, nothing happens afterwards. That's just a kiss. Doesn't matter. But if you kiss someone and you decide you want to do it again and have a second kiss, that's when it counts. But everything's different now, Tom. I mean, for a start, we're living together. I mean, I can't stay living here forever. I've got to sort things out with my dad. If you really mean it, you'll let me make a decision without putting me under too much pressure. Agreed? Agreed. Hello? Hello? Who was that? The line went dead. What are you doing here? Scared little Della. I wonder how many times your parents have done it from this bed. All adults do it, Della. That's what makes them adults. Yeah, but there's no harm in waiting, is there? So now that you've got a free house, what are you going to do about it, huh? I am going to count to three, and when I open my eyes, I want you out of here. One, two, three. It's a very difficult day for both of us. So if you want to talk about Johnny, or, or talk about anything else for that matter, well, I'm here, you know? Bend my ear any time. Well, why would I want to talk about him, Mike? He's dead, isn't he? Bless him. Uh, welcome, everybody! Everybody! <laughs> Do you remember my name, then? Della, don't do this. It's complicated. You can't just... Just what? Just what? I wanted to say sorry. It's OK. Parents are gone away. Oh. Why don't you go with them? I'm not a kid anymore, Josh. Are you sure you're OK? Fine. Do you want to come in? Dad's got beers. No, I'm fine. Maybe I should come back later. Are you sure you're right? Why do you keep asking me that? Look, if you've just come round here to ask me stupid questions, then you can go and come back when you've got something else to say. It's not much better, Josh. I'll see you later. I want to thank you so much for all coming and, and, and so much for your wonderful generosity. <laughs> Good. Um, of course, there's always going to be the odd one who just wants to swig our wine rather than drain their own communion cup, but, well, hey? <laughs> Actually, Natalie, I do have a small donation. I should go. Yes, you should. Steph. Oh. Steph's going to love this. Oh, he's lonely and needs a home. She did it for us. Don't. They're his things. What's this? Ooh, quite a little artist, aren't we? Is this you, little fella? Stanislaus? Well, I think that's a bit of a mouthful for us here, so uh, I think that for the time being, we're just going to call you Stan. Hmm? I'm so glad 
glad you could join us. Um, actually, you know, that there, is, uh, there is somebody I would like you to meet. Meet. Yes, a Dr. Kenworthy. He's just returned from a research project in, in Africa. He, uh, he went out there when he was made a widower. Anthony, and uh, Anthony, oh, come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> May I introduce um, a very special friend and benefactor, uh, Rachel Calgrim. <laughs> Delighted. And uh, may I say that I've really met someone with such a superior burn structure. And the way your skin is so tightly pulled across your skull. Allow me. Fascinating cranial structure. Surely the mark of a rock solid bloodline. just stay here. You know, we could be like a proper family. We can't just make decisions like that, Duncan. We have to go through the proper channels. But if we all want him to stay, I really don't see that there's a problem. Who says we all want him to stay? Right. There's only one thing for it. Josh. What is it, Duncan? Well, if ballots are good enough for Western democracies, then they can be good enough for us, too. All those in favour of sending Stan to some work camp or whatever you call it holly please raise your hands all those in favor of stan staying here among the bosom of a loving alternative family please raise your hands holly you haven't voted well the motion is carried it looks like stan should stay here with us I didn't mean to frighten you, barging in here. Uh, only your mother missed her appointment this afternoon. And, well, I believe in a ward without walls, if you know the expression. She has been acting a little strange. <laughs> she was just the same before she had you. Oh, yes. I was there when you were born. I delivered you. What did I look like? You're a beautiful, hairy baby. <laughs> And look at you now. A fine-looking young woman, if ever I saw one. I was sorry to hear about Jane. I understand that you and she were close. We were friends. I bet you were more than just friends. Born on the same day, living just across the road from each other. It must be very hard for you. Especially you. I'm all right. Well... You won't want to spend your whole night listening to me babbling on. <laughs> You'll be good. And look after the house for your parents while they're not here. And don't think I won't be watching out for you. Making sure you don't get up to no good. And mark my words, I will be watching. <laughs> Come on, Woody. We don't want to be clogging things up. Let's uh, let's go through here. <laughs> what are you staring at? Spit it out, boy. I, I thought she was a prostitute. But I like wearing these clothes. So, uh, when was the last time you had a thorough check? Hmm? I can assure you. Um, Dr. Kenworthy, I am completely free of all affliction. The health of my family is something I take really seriously. Cleanliness, 
and hygiene are the utmost to my priorities. Still, there are plenty of quiet rooms where I could perform a more detailed examination. <laughs> You'll forgive me. But my dear, we were getting on so well. You'll forgive me. So you, you don't miss your parents now you've left home then? <laughs> so much for your promises. I turn my back for one minute and you're off. But Frankie, wait. What is it? You said we were coming here together. You've hardly said a word to me all night. There's nothing to say. Frankie, look. come home. My home's in my country home now. Everything just comes down to the same thing with you, doesn't it, Dad? Tom and I are friends, that's all. Why can't you get that? Of course I'm OK. Look, Mum, what? I can't hear you, you're cracking up. I think we should just give ourselves a really big pat on the back. Everybody, uh, except for poor little Mike here, because uh, he's only got a little, tiny, really little pat on the back because uh, he won't be able to give any money next year if things keep going the way they are, eh, Mike? Um, so, uh, you know, it's been it's been a really big year for my family because. Duncan's up to Noft and uh, Jane's. Uh, I haven't heard anything, and uh, well, I think I must be quite careless, really, because I just um, just keep to losing them. Natalie, uh, and I do have, I do have you, don't I, Woody? I mean, not that we've actually, um, you know, <laughs> but. Uh, <gasps> But that's not to say that we won't. But we haven't. Reach out for a healing hand. Reach out for a healing hand. There's a light where the darkness ends. Touch me now and let me see. We were by a lake, uh, Natalie and me, and uh, we were talking about boys. And we weren't looking. And uh, Johnny fell in. And he never came back. Do you know, I don't think I've spoken about this to anyone for almost 20 years. Well, I've been married to Natalie for 18. And she never mentioned it once. Maybe I should text him. What did you say? Tom, maybe I should text him. I can't see why he'd want to do that. It's not like he's a good kisser or anything. Your dad's quite fit, really. Like older men. Yeah, right. What older men have you ever called? What, you think I'm making it up? You make everything up. Why? Just to impress you. OK, what older men have you snogged? I'll give you a clue. He shares towels with Frankie. Mike. Mike, like Tom Stad, Mike. Yeah, last week on my 16th birthday. <laughs> You're not lying. Not bad tongue action, Mike's though. not like that. He'd never Although, do that. You're lying. He's sweaty. His skin's not that great. You're lying! Ah, she walks in like beauty in the night. <laughs> Is there a doctor in the house? I'm feeling you need a little attention. Mm -hmm. That dress is coming. Pink. The colour of flesh in most major organs. You look ravishing. Black is the colour of death. It jaded me. I had to change. Pink rejuvenates me from the outside in. 
You do understand, Dr. Kenworthy. No, I do, Miss Calvin, I do. Your sinewy presence is just gratifying. May I get you a drink? Hmm? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to hear a ghost story? Who wants to ask why we have to stop talking about sex like normal teenagers start talking about ghost stories just because creepy lizard girls are on? Come on, Kate, you're in my house now. You don't need to talk like that. I like lizards. <laughs> mm. What about a sex ghost story? Oh, ghosts don't have sex. They just pass through each other. Do you bed? actually lie in bed and think of all this stuff? Or do you actually have a magazine that you subscribe to? Why don't you tell me about that woman who came to see you? Who Bradshaw? Well, she's like my mum's red wife. <laughs> no, she's really spooky. She came around here this afternoon. What's that noise? I think we should go and see what it is. Oh, it's all right, Kate. It's just on the door. <sighs> you don't think it's her, do you? Who? It's creepy psycho killer nurse woman. The mouths of the male and female of the species are identical in design. During mating rituals, these mouths are pressed against each other. <laughs> this creates a very pleasant sensation. Do you like it? Pleasure? I thought so. You right over there? Will. Well, it's not putting off your drinking, is it? I thought you'd gone. And there you are with a fresh bottle. <laughs> I like games. What are we playing? How about Truth or Dare? <laughs> yeah. Like we're all eight years old or something. I don't know. I like that. No way. I think it's a really good idea. Let's play Truth or Dare. Oh, that'd be crazy psycho nurse woman. No, no, shut up, everyone. It's probably my mum. Oh, don't answer. It's supposed to be staying at mine. So why is she calling me here? Shut up, Polly. Maybe she needs this now. Maybe you should get a breast reduction. You see, it's difficult to be a sinner when you've got the responsibility of bringing up children. I don't know. You weren't exactly find them off when you moved in with Sam and Lucy, were you? That's not the point. There have been other men, and better men than that sick medic. Oh, I don't know, Rachel. I really love Frankie, you know, but only whenever I try to tell her, she makes it out like a miss. Sex mad fiend or something. You see, you and I are very much in the same situation, Mr. Radcliffe. William. Sam doesn't love me. No, he despises me. And Lucy despises me because of Sam. And baby Ben. Well, it won't be long before he despises me. Probably be his first full sentence. <laughs> Kids. Thank you, Frankie. I made sure there's absolutely no alcohol in any of these because it's illegal for kids under a certain age to consume alcohol. Right. Shut up, everyone. Hey, <laughs> truth or there? Um, choose truth every time. Okay. Who's the last person you snubbed then? Let me see. It's him. Well, no. Really, the last person that I snogged was... ...him. Well, it's not like we used our tongues or anything. Tell them. Right, is it my go, then? OK, I choose Celeste. Truth. I was hoping you'd say that. Ryan, why don't you go and sit down next to Celeste? Well, I'm happy with you, Kate. Oh, you missed some dark occurrences, man. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. I choose Frankie. Why isn't it Ryan? He's only just come in. Oh, come on, Frankie, play the game. True. Hey, who in this room do you fancy? Dare. Oh, come on. No, 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 there hasn't been a day. She's just cheating. No, no, no. Oh. Okay. You have to kiss someone. <laughs> I don't know if it's game. Come on, Frankie. Everyone else is playing by the rules except you. If you can't take the pain, don't play the game. Jimmy.
<laughs> right, does that mean it's my turn next? Cool. <laughs> Oh, Johnny. Oh, God. Oh. Steph. Natalie, uh, can I help you? I have come to pay my respects. I've come to pay my respects because I remember what day it is. Do you remember what day it is? Oh, of course I do. Oh, oh. Do you? <laughs> It's been a difficult day for us. Maybe it'd be helpful if we talked about it. I do not want to talk about it. Well, he's just trying to be helpful. Look, it's been tough for all of us. <sighs> Look, you need some sleep. Go and get some rest, Natalie. And I suppose you're up at this time just saying your prayers, trying to book your place in heaven <laughs> so you don't have to go to hell with me. I suppose, though, that you're suffering is worse than mine. Do you know, that really helps me sleep at night. What's wrong with me, Ryan? Nothing. It's just that I don't mean those things I say to you in front of other people, but other people can't find out about us. But don't you want them to know? We can't. They'll stop us being together. You want us to be together, don't you? <laughs> Okay, I dare you to kiss Celeste. Don't be so disgusting. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's my bed. Don't let him in. <laughs> Pretend we're not here. Frankie, he knows you're here. Tell him to go away. He's talking. Whoa. Frankie, you got to talk to him. Come on. There's nothing to say. Okay. Be like that. I was just telling Celeste that she looks cheap. I think it's pathetic. You failed with the doctor just like you failed with everyone else. You think I'm a monster, don't you? No, I just think that you're scared of people. Do you pity me? Yes. doing this, Rachel. I'm not going to scream or shout because the person who's really locked in the cupboard is you. Put me down, you monster! What's the magic word? Now! Uh, all right. Please. <sighs> oh, we never talk anymore, Frankie. You're too busy judging me to listen. So? What was so important you had to go and humiliate me in front of my friends? Only that I love you. Sure it's not the whiskey talking? I'll oh, come home, Frankie. For good. What's the magic word? Jimmy? Hello? Go on, go on. Sleep in the tunnel. 
since I've had someone to share things with, like earlier about Johnny. Uh, oh, I think my... Uh, oh. I think my leg's gone to sleep. <laughs> Let me take them from you. Thank you. Oh, that's better. I felt something. I, I felt something like something bad was going to happen. Sorry. I can look after myself, I'm not a kid. I just wanted you to be safe, Della. You should have gone with your mum and dad. You shouldn't be here by yourself. I'm not on my own, everyone's downstairs. We were having a party. See? Nothing bad's gonna happen. Right. Look, Josh, you shouldn't be here. Okay, if that's what you want. You can't go that way. They're down there. They'll see you. I should announce myself properly. No, Josh. You can go the way you came. Josh. Jimmy. I think someone's going to have to help me carry Jimmy. Don't look at me. Oh, what happened? You're not going already, are you? I can stay over if you like. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I like pretending. You're horrible, Ryan. Ryan, there's something I've been wanting to tell you all night. I hate you. I hate you too. You're so sweet. <laughs> Maybe you should have thought of that before you gave Josh his much orders. It's okay to be scared, Della. I'm not scared. I'm fine. Maybe it's Prince Charming. Maybe he's come to save you after all. Della. 
Ha ha, very funny. I think that scared me, you are. What are you talking about? You mean it wasn't you? What wasn't me? You didn't think it was a judge, did you? But you wanted it to be to be to be. Outside, Duncan. I don't know, Steph. It's it's a feeling I I, I can't really explain. Uh, I get a a, a feeling. Uh, Go on. Sometimes I stand by the door and I think about what's on the other side, what's out there, and then. Just as I'm about to turn the handle, it's there again. It, it, it's pulling me back. In the house? <laughs> of course, today is different. I suppose it is. Josh, you came back. I said a bit here if you needed me. Are you scared? It's okay. I'm not going anywhere this time. Whatever you say. <laughs> Try and get some shut eye. Josh. Hmm? Why isn't it always like this? Sometimes you don't want to see me. It's not that I don't want to see you. It's sometimes I can't. There's a difference. Oh, you, you, you're going to have to trust me. You do trust me, don't you? Under the influence of alcohol, swells and swells until it grows big and yellow and hard until it's too late. Then the only option is to cut it out. Mm. <laughs> Mother Brin? Don't mind if I do, Dr. Bedworthy. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. No, it was the Madeira. Then drink up, my dear. I can see you on, Rachel. You can let me out now. Yeah, then. I'm not normally a delusional man, but I'm sure I heard something. No, it must be your imagination. <laughs> Who's afraid now, young lady? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid. I think the alcohol may have clouded your judgment. There he goes again. Seems as if the wardrobe is talking. No, 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 no. It's Madeira. 
please. Allow me to guess with it. Huh. I believe you. I think I'm having a coronary. Oh, Frankie. I can't believe it. It's true, isn't it? What? Kay says you kissed her. I can't believe it. How could you? Now, just hang on a minute, Frankie. I don't know what Kate's been saying, but I don't think you got the full story there. So you didn't kiss her? Not exactly. Well, you either did or you didn't. Frankie, Kate kissed me. Now, it didn't mean anything. And we agreed that we were just not going to talk about it, we were going to forget it. You see, you've always been really sensible about this sort of thing. But some teenagers, they get very confused about how they feel about people. Sometimes they think they feel something for somebody and it's... it's just wrong. Other times they think they feel something and they don't really feel anything at all. I think that's what it was like with Kate. She was really mixed up that day. So it was just a kiss? Nothing more? Well. Do you really think that I'd risk losing all of this? No. Look, I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, I must have misread the signals. Oh, could I have your numbers? I really don't know what's wrong with you, mate. I really don't. I told you I'm not like that anymore. Yeah, well, you're weird. Well, we're, we're... What's he doing here? <coughs> Couldn't get rid of him. I think they call it animal magnetism. Let me out of here, Samuel. Blues? What have you done? I was beginning to give up on you. Is that an invitation into the demilitarised zone? Frankie, what about the space-time continuum thing? Don't try and tell me that's all been resolved in the course of one single evening. Walls aren't built to last forever. I've made a decision, Tom. Do I take it through your presence here in my room and you sitting on my bed on my side of the room that it's going to make me happy? <sighs> you were right. You know what they say about unstoppable forces and unmovable objects? That they can't exist in the same universe. Okay. I just kind of feel like you're holding something back. You're trying to say Kate's a better kiss than me. I was wondering when you were going to bring that up. Look, me and Kate, it was just a thing, you know. This is different. Look, right now, you and me here, the centre of the universe. So what's missing? You're still crossing me for kissing Jimmy? No. Well, yes. But that's not it. Kate and Jimmy, they don't count. Frankie, I'm talking about your dad. We're alone here in your room and you want me to go and see my dad? I was right about you. Today, there was this spooky woman and she came round to see me. Who is she? She was there when Jane and I were born, but she knows all this stuff about us. About Jane? No, 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 nothing like that. She was her midwife. She came around to see Mum, but she'd already gone. But she just makes me remember things that happened with me and Jane. What kind of things? There was this one time when we were seven. We were at the zoo. Were you on your own? 
we'd lost our mums. But then this man found us. And he bought us balloons and ice cream. Did you know? Pistachio flavour. <laughs> he kept asking us all these questions. It made us feel really special. We found our mums and when we turned around he was gone. I got home and Dad was really angry. And he held me really close and said he'd never let me go again. You've never seen him again? I haven't told anyone this since Jane. She said she'd be back. Thing is, I don't know where I am without her. Feeling a bit ropey? Ooh. Uh, like I've been trampled on by a herd of stampeding rhinoceroses. Mm. I know I've said it before, Samuel. This time, it is my solemn oath. I am hanging up my shot glasses for good. Glad to hear it. But drunkenness is no excuse such appalling behaviour towards a vulnerable child. No, some party, eh? What you'd know. What party? You don't remember? Not a great deal, no. Did I miss anything? I have a terrible feeling in the back of my head that something frightful happened. Am I right? Drink this and try to forget about it. I can't believe it. Did you hear that, little fella? You're gonna stay. Well, it's just temporary custody, Duncan, just until they find someone more suitable. Well? Yeah, well, that won't be difficult, will it? I don't think they're gonna find anyone better than me. They're not going anywhere. Now, Duncan, don't start getting his hopes up high. It's just for a while. Well, Stan got special needs. He needs extra care and attention. Well, I can do that, Steph. I want to. And someone who can speak Lithuanian. Well, I can learn. Hey, Stan. <laughs> I thought that he might like to play. Come on in. Josh? Hello. <laughs> You've got some explaining to do, young lady. And Teddy might have stayed downstairs and tidying up wouldn't hurt either. Oh, baby girl, come in. Oh. Mrs. Oh, yes. Mm. Just tell me you're not going to leave me again. Oh, no. Never, 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 never. Mm -hmm. Do you want breakfast in bed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Me